or the second half of the pay-per-view. <clears throat> all right because the stupid game crashed all the title matches that were supposed to happen well there's still gonna be title matches but it's not gonna show it because this game is fucking stupid So this is the LCW Hardcore title match. Making his way to the ring. This is a hardcore match for the LCW Hardcore title. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. He is the challenger. Broken. Bonks. Yeah, I don't know why. It's stupid. I mean, in 2K19, when it would crash like this, it would still keep the title matches in the card. I mean, it, Lily, it's like the only thing I could say is like at least it wasn't like before when it would crash mid-show where it would make me reset the actual whole, whole damn show. Like, I would have to book all the matches again and shit. Or it would it would just replace all the matches with just different random matches and shit. And... His opponent. He is the current LCW Hardcore Champion from Belfast, Ireland. Tuba Man. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with that hardcore title. If I'm gonna make two hardcore titles for both shows, or create a TV title for both shows. Maybe I'll make like a, a YouTube title for one show and a Twitch title on the other. go you know it didn't say it but that is this is for the hardcore title mm. 
multiple rights. And then a kick to the gut. Oh, big super kick connects. Then the yarn mark. Could he make him tap out? But Funks with a nice counter. Can Superman retain his hardcore title? And now Superman going for that tuber bomb. Oh, nice high knee lift. Oh, then the spear onto the apron. Buster connects. There's the spear from out of nowhere. Is that going to be it? Woo. Oh, nice neck breaker by Funks. Multiple left hooks. And now, oh, using that bottom rope as a weapon. And now, Broken Funks looking to break Tuberman's face with that baseball bat. Oh, and Tuberman looking to do the same thing. Side effect right onto the bat. One, two. Fucking ref needs to follow them everywhere they go. Oh, big right, big right hook. And then the spear. Two. Oh, and kicks out just in time. And now bouncing his head off the LED board. And now Broken Funks with the Broken Fate. And now goes straight for the pin. One, two, three, and Tuberman retains his hardcore title. Yes, they will get a rematch. Well, they'll be on, they'll be in, well, if they're on the same show. So I'm going to do a draft after, after this. But either way, you're going to get your rematch. I'll make sure they're on the same show.
All right, I will let you know. But here's your winner and still hardcore champ, Tubaman. Ah, this is the match that I've been waiting for. The rematch between the Sisters of Destruction and the DeWinter Twins. Winner of this match will be number one contenders to the women tag titles on whatever show they're on. Bum 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 bum. Here we go. Winner becomes number one contender to the women tag team titles. And it's a grudge match between these two teams. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring first from Toronto, Canada. Amber and Amy, or Amber and Amanda, the Do Winter Twins. On, Yo, Dog Life 32, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the pack. Hope you enjoy the rest of this pay per view. There you see Amanda De Winters and Amber De Winters right there with the hoodie. The Winter Twins looking to t get back in that title picture. Amber DeWinter is a former LCW Women's Champ. And their opponents from Death Valley. The daughter of the legend himself, The Undertaker, sister, uh, I was about to say sister, Casey Calloway, and the Queen Demon, Sisters of Destruction. Well, since they're sisters, I'm guessing, I guess, yeah, they're both the Undertaker's daughter. The Undertaker's daughters.
and Amber DeWinters. Casey Calloway locking things up right there. Oh, nice counter by Amber. Casey Calloway. Never mind. Arm drag takedown by Amber. Oh, look at those elbow shots. Oh, man. And now the Queen Demon with a sunset flip. Nice snap suplex. Queen Demon looking to end things early here. Oh, hits her with that sidekick. And I'm not talking about the phone either. And now Amanda DeWinters gets tossed into the corner. Oh man, overhand chop. And a ref bump. What else is new? And now Amanda looking to choke out Queen Demon and hits her with a double knees. See if Amber could take advantage of this. Beautiful Hurricanrana. And now the Pele kick. And now ground and pound. Then the bitch slap. And now Amber tagging her sister back into the match. Can Queen Demon do the same thing? Oh, whoa, look at that. Totally didn't see that tag. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, Amber playing possum, or is that Amanda? That was Amanda. Oh, oh, I thought she missed that kick, but she went for a second one and connected. And a big clothesline by Casey Calloway. And hesitation, DDT. And now playing possum. Woo! And now she's got her in that guillotine chokehold. And now Amber, or no, Amanda, keep getting them mixed up. Amanda's the one with curly hair. Amber's the one with straight hair. And the running knee strike connects. The De Winter Twins have had the Sisters of Destruction's number since season one of LCW. Now, multiple knee strikes. And a hurricanrana. She got her in the arm bar, but Casey Calloway breaking up the submission hold. Oh, she's going for those kicks. Oh, elbow right to the knee. And now the shotgun. 
or the stun gun, whatever the hell it's called. And look at the strength of the Queen Demon. One, two. And now, oh, hits her with the wasteland. Woo! What a move. Demon looking to tag in her sister, and she does. And now, taking a page out of her father's book, looking to go old school here. And connects. Big right hand. And now, Casey Calloway with the tombstone. But too close to the ropes. And now, the high knee lift connects. Oh, she was going for the tombstone again. Inverted DDT connects. Oh, here we go. That springboard backflip. Woo! That's got to be it. And Casey Calloway kicks out. DDT, the DDT that everybody has. And now Queen Demon getting rid of Amber DeWinters. Oh, working the arm. And now Casey Calloway looking to go old school again. And connects. Yo, welcome back, Chef. It's been a great tag match so far. And now she's got her in the tombstone again, but too close to the ropes. I don't know why she keeps turning. Oh, she puts under the ropes. And good job, Amber, for hitting the ref. Big power bomb. Then the flatliner. Casey Calloway calling her shot. And the Exploder Suplex. Oh, kick right to the gut and another kick. Then the clothesline. Buying some time for her sister to recover on the outside. Beautiful combination. Missy with the double stops. 
but of course the AIs are dumb and they can't capitalize on that. Oh, big left. Now the Irish whip. Then the big cross body. Lutez press and now bouncing her head off the mat. And finally gets the hot tag into Queen Demon. But she runs right into that combination. Amanda DeWinter is probably the one who has taken the most damage in this match. Smartly rolls to the outside. Oh, man. Oh, look at this move. It's like an inverted tarantula-like move. Oh, then the big boot dropping Queen Demon. Get her back in the ring. Or toss her into the steel steps. See if she can get her back in the ring. Oh, spinning back fist. And now the Queen Demon taking a page out of the World Champs playbook. And finally gets her back into the ring. And gets the hot tag to Casey Calloway. Missing with that single leg drop kick into a big splash. And this is Amanda's. <laughs> I almost called her Amber. The assist to sleep to the German suplex. Do we have new number one contenders? And we do, the No Winter Twins. You're new number one contenders to the women tag team titles. Yeah, get the hell out of here, ref. And making a statement. Oh, man. The new number one contenders sending a message to the tag team champs. The De Winter Twins better hope. The Sisters of Destructions don't get this, don't get drafted to the same show because they're gonna remember that. Here we go, Megan Star, Low London. Women's world title match or women's title match Because the game crashed it's not going to show that it's for the title, but it is This is a rivalry that's 
that started back in season one, actually, when they fought for the women's title back then. And what a better way than to end this season with a rematch from season one. The following contest is for the LCW Women's Championship, scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Houston, Texas, Low London. Let's go London. Can't wait to see London bridges falling down. Yep, hopefully she'll hit that. Uh, that's what she names her super kick. London bridges falling down. And her opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia. She is the current LCW Women's Champion, Megan Starr. Winner of this match gets automatically drafted to Mayhem. Here we go, the long awaited rematch between these two. They lock up middle of the ring. Megan Star with the headlock and now working the arm into a beautiful STO and connects with the hesitation DDT Megan Starr looking to end things quickly she's got her in the in her submission hold that's low London's finisher right there oh nice takedown by low London Man, inverted face plant. Mega Star. She always brings her A game when she defends her women's title. Oh, London completely no selling it. Her Karana into multiple, multiple right fists. And now Low London with a DDT. Low London going to the top rope. <laughs> that would have been sick if she would have connected with that. She freaking touched her feet and still had time to rotate into the moonsault. That was insane.
And now, Low London. Oh, planting her. And there's the running knee. Nice counter by Megan Starr. London Bridges going down. Pop up. London Bridges going down. And the Pele kick. There it is again. Oh, there's the big boot. And now looking to choke out Low London. Hello, ref. London Bridges going down. And now the double knees. Hits her again. There's the V-trigger. Is that gonna be it? Woo, man. So many kicks to the face, I know, right? And now rubbing her face on the mat. Then follows it up with an elbow. Can Megan Star retain her women's title? There's the big boot. And Lo Megan Star, for some reason, went to the top rope. Now she's got her in the cross face. But Megan Starr still fights out of it. There's the roundhouse kick. Megan Starr with the dirty pin. Woo! That oh, was close. Megan Star turning heel. Heel Megan Star for season four. There it is, the shining star. One, two, and Low London kicks out. And going for it again. And smartly drags her to the middle of the ring. One, two, three. Megan Starr, still your women's champion. And drafted to Mayhem. There you go. The referee's getting his ass kicked tonight. <laughs> mm. 
honestly, he deserves it. But Megan Starr, still your LCW Women's Champ, and now is drafted to Mayhem. Now this, this is what I've been waiting for. The Kitty Crew, Sid and Cat versus the Lowells, Angelina and Ray for the LCW Women Tag Team Titles. So we saw last Friday each teammate got one win apiece. Sid defeated Angelina. Ray defeated Cat. The rubber match for the tag team titles. This is the co-main event. It's weird because I can't see the little red loading bar on the bottom of the screen on my TV, but I can see it like on the computer or on my tablet. There we go for the LCW Women Tag Team Titles. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring first, Cat and Sid. The challengers, the Kitty Crew. All right, that's They've been dominant as a tag team. They have yet to lose ever since I've put them together as a tag team. Can they remain undefeated as a tag team and win the LCW Women Tag Team Championship Championships? And speaking of champions, making their way to the ring, Angelina and Ray, the LCW Women Tag Team Champions, Los Loco Lobos. So far, it's been a good night for the Lobos. Denise got her Women's Intercontinental title back. We got our tag team titles back. Let's see if they can bring back their tag titles. The only hiccup was Carlos's match against COD. Let's go, Angelina and Sid. Starting things off here. Sid pushing Angelina all the way to the corner. Oh, big clothesline. And Sid showing that she means business right now. Not wasting any time.
kick right to the gut. Into a beautiful suplex. My voice is fucking gone right now. <laughs> Angelina. Oh! Big boot into an inverted DDT. And now Angelina looking for stratisfaction. Gets the hot tag into Cat. And now Cat. Dragging Angelina to the ropes. Oh man, overhand right, right to the back. Oh my, look at those knee strikes. <laughs> Woo, man. And gets the hot tag into Ray. This is the rematch from last Friday. the kick right to the gut after multiple shots to the face and now using her hair to drag her down beautiful count and now Sid back into the match hits her with the elbow oh snake eyes on the top rope And now single leg Boston Crab. Hits her with the running knee strike. And now Sid going for that corkscrew. DDT. And now Angelina is going to get these paws. Woo! What a combo. And Chris, or not Christina, Cat trying to get the crowd behind her. Oh, Northern Lights suplex. And there's the eye poke. <laughs> Taking a page out of the Lobos playbook right there. And look at those multiple headbutts. Are we on the verge of new tag team champs? Like I said, even if the Lobos do lose, they're still going to be drafted to Mayhem since Denise already won her Intercontinental title. Big right hand. Kick to the gut and into bankrupt. Is that going to be it? And Cap kicks out just in time. Ray taking out Sid. And a nice side slam by Cat. Oh, there's the local crazy knee, the LCK. Two, Woo. almost new tag team champs. 
Oh, missing with the knee. She was looking for an LCK of her own. And now Cat. Springboard. Oh, into a Falcon Arrow. Using that top rope as a leverage. And spinning elbow. Cat is feeling it right now. See her hit the go to sleep, bitch. I think she has it. And now doing more damage with four more headbutts or three more. Now connects with the Northern Light Suplex. And then a snap suplex. Beautiful counter by Angelina. There's the LCK. And the kick from out of nowhere though. Cat tagging Sid back into the match. Let's see if Sid could finish her off here. Disaster kick. Gets up with the elbow. Then the discus knee. And Sid saying it's over. She's going for that corkscrew DDT. And connects. Do we have new tag team champs? Counter by Angelina into a takedown and some ground and pound. She hasn't done enough damage to her. And there's the reverse or inverted Olympic slam. And Sid kicks out. And Sid with the brain buster. Angelina needs to make a tag. Oh, look at this combination. Um, it did crash. It crashes like once. And then after that, it's fine. But it doesn't crash as much as before. I mean, the game's actually playable now. Oh, look at those elbow shots to the side of the face of Angelina. Do we have new tag champs? Two. Ooh. By the way, welcome Dr. Dro. Is Angelina gonna get these paws? Ooh, not yet. I just hate that, like if you're doing a universe mode like I am right now, if, the get, if it crashes and then you go back, any title matches that you've had booked on the show become regular normal matches. 
It's like, I hate that. There we go, new tag team champs. And we got new LCW women tag team champions. The Kitty Crew ending the longest tag team reign in LCW history. Longest women's tag team reign in LCW history. And the Kitty Crew are now drafted to Mayhem after becoming your new LCW Women Tag Team Champions. Even though it's not showing it, but because when the game crashed earlier, it made it into a normal match. But I will put the titles on them after the stream. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Like, it's so annoying, though. <laughs> I hate... It's like, in 2K19, when it crashed, like, at least it would keep the title matches booked. Me, wow, indeed. <laughs> but here we go, the main event. Anthony Walker's first title defense going up against the man who won the 10 man over the top rope battle royal on Monday Dios de la Guerra who invaded GMW yesterday <laughs> he freaking he freaking jumped Anthony Walker before his match So, Dr. Dro, do you have a character on here? Would you like to be a part of one of the shows? Because I'm doing a brand split after after the stream. It's like one half of this sh roster will be on Mondays. The other half will be on Fridays. So, yeah, if, you, if your character is already uploaded... Let me get the hashtag. If not, then just upload them using the hashtag LCW. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the LCW World Championship. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Dios de la Guerra. Yeah, let me know when it's up. You can either whisper it to me or follow me on Twitter. Hit me up on the DMs. funny because Dios de la Guerra on the start of season 3 when I was champion my first title defense was against him and now we're at the end of season 3 and he's getting another title defense or a title shot comes full circle, right? There it is, the LCW, the new LCW world champion, Anthony Walker, who defeated Mass Terror last Friday. Look at that beautiful belt.
that could be yours one day, Dr. Dro. There he is, the new LCW world champion, fulfilling his destiny last week, winning the world title for the first time in his LCW career. The Crow will show up in LCW. Ooh, can't wait for that. And now Dios de la Guerra, right off the bat with the DDT. And now Dios de la Guerra, looking to fulfill his destiny, which he almost fulfilled at the start of season three. Let's see if he could do it at the end of season three. Big boot connects. So if Anthony does lose, <laughs> he'll be added to the draft. And he better hope he gets drafted to Mayhem if he wants to get his rematch against him. <laughs> Sounded like JR right there. All right. Yeah. JR's the only one that does slobber knocker. This is going to be a hell of a slobber knocker. Dio de la Guerra. Looking to fly. Woo! Hits him with a big splash by the big man. And now... Looking to end the title reign of Anthony Walker. The short title reign. And now, setting him up. Oh, hits him with a big choke slam. Doesn't even go for the pin. Wants to do more damage. Which is actually pretty smart. Because he knows probably he'll kick out of it. Another big splash. Good God Almighty. The big man. No, oh, missing with the knee though. And now Anthony going for the quick pin. And right now it's been all Dios de la Guerra. Dios mio. And now tossing them to the outside, right onto the concrete, and the crowd behind Dios de la Guerra. So, Ray, if you're still in the chat. If you missed GMW yesterday, me and you became the GMW Tag Team Champions too. And the Idos Meal Splash. One, two, woo. That was close. Big right hand, and another one, and another one. And now looking for that choke slam again. Is this the beginning of the end of Anthony Walker's reign?
And a beautiful takedown by Anthony Walker. And now, good night, sweet prince. And now going for it again. Good night, sweet prince. Is that gonna help him retain? Ooh, and he kicked out. This is awesome, I agree with the crowd. But I think Anthony needs to hit that pile driver if he wants to finish off Dios de la Guerra. And multiple shoulder blocks by Anthony Walker. Goes for the pin. Is that going to be enough? Only gets a one count. And now going for the rude awakening. And he connects. That might do it. Oh, never mind. Oh, here it comes. The pile driver. But too close to the ropes. Bad ring awareness. That might cost them the title right there. Oh, look at those roundhouse kicks. Into the belly to belly. But Dios de la Guerra completely no selling it. And now the sunset flip. Is that going to do it? One, two. Woo! <laughs> that was hella close. My God, what a title match this has been. Hits him with the shotgun. And now, setting him up. Is this, is this the beginning of the end? Oh, that's that chokehold. <laughs> I did not know he had that fucking move. But there it is. Dios de la Guerra chokes out the now former LCW World Champion. And now Dios de la Guerra, your new World Champion. And now drafted to Mayhem. Holy hell. Not once did he attempt that move the entire match. I thought he was going to go for that choke slam again. It's like that move, the claw move, the mandible claw are like instant victories for some freaking reason. Although he did do a lot of damage to Anthony Walker. But still, those moves are way too OP. But here is your new LCW World Champion, Dios de la Guerra. Now I gotta put the the people who won the tag, the titles, put them on them. But I'm gonna do a quick recap of what you missed we kick things off with the brute and Chris Danger 
with Chris Danger getting the victory over the brute, Jesse defeating her former best friend, Maria. The Lobos retaining the LCW World Tag Team Champs and first draft pick to Mayhem, Denise taking back her LCW Women's Intercontinental title from Lady J and the women Lobos drafted to Mayhem as well. COD getting the win over Carlos, a possible rivalry right there. Jacob in the match of the night. If you missed this match, go back and watch this ladder match. It was insane. Jacob retaining his Intercontinental title against five other dudes. It's freaking amazing. Amy Rose and Bell spoiling the debut of the dismal duo. Tuberman retaining his hardcore title. The De Winter Twins becoming the new number one contenders to the women tag team titles on whatever show they end up on. Megan Starr retaining her women's championship and now drafted to Mayhem as well. The Kitty Crew, your new LCW women tag team champions. Also, well, they're both, both teams are drafted to Mayhem. And then finally in the main event, Dios de la Guerra, your new LCW world champion and drafted to Mayhem. So, Anthony, you better hope you get drafted to Mayhem. Well, either way, you're probably going to be involved in the world title match on Chaos if you're on that show, too. So, either way, you're going to get your rematch on a world title. But anyways, I'm going to end the stream right there. This was a great pay-per-view. My God, my throat is so sore. I'm, my voice is gone. But I will do the draft over the weekend. I'm going to take next week off. So no LCW next week. And then the start of season four of LCW will be the following week. So season four starts in two weeks. Not this week. But next week. Or not this week, but the following week. There we go. So I'm going to do the draft over the weekend. Then during the week, I'm going to fix up the chaos and mayhem arenas. And then season four begins. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys. Well, I'm probably going to stream still during the week. Some Call of Duty or Fortnite or paladins and stuff so i'll see you during the week but i'll see you in two weeks all right yeah two weeks for season four of lcw local out